Melissa Hennessy has known Judge Kavanaugh for more than 35 years. She was also at these parties that he describes when they were in high school. Melissa, good to have you with us uh, today. Thank you very much for being here. So, you Thank know, you for having me, Martha. First of all, let's put the, the calendar up again, because this calendar, I think, is going to become an interesting part of this equation. And he kept this calendar and he saved it and he turned it over to the investigators. And it details Beach Week, which has now become an issue in this latest allegation by this woman who says that she witnessed this horrific behavior of gang rape and people waiting online to go into bedrooms. And she says that she saw Mark Judge and Brett Kavanaugh waiting on one of those lines. What do you say? I, I say there's no way that happened. Martha, I've known Brett for so long, and we, we all went to Beach Week, all the, the boys' schools and the girls' schools, and we would um, go as big groups. And, you know, these were typically um, three-bedroom condos we'd rent with 20 kids. I mean, there were people all over the place. There is no way any of that could have happened. I, I just think somebody would have seen it. So, and we all talked. We were very, very yeah. close. So, and when you look at, at these three women who have made these allegations, now Ramirez is different because she's at Yale. She's, she's not making a high mm -hmm. school accusation, but the other two women yeah. are, and maybe we can put their pictures up on the screen. Do you know either of these women? Do you recognize them? No, I don't, I did not recognize them. I, I didn't even recognize their names, quite frankly. Uh, Brett and I graduated 83, and I think Dr. Ford graduated in 84, so she would have been a year younger than us. Um, and I, I honestly just don't remember the name. So this new allegation, and it's very sketchy, we're just getting this new allegation, but it's a woman who says that in 1998 she was out in Washington, D.C. with him, and she describes behavior that is somewhat similar to some of the other descriptions that we've gotten with this sort of aggressive, you know, pushing up against a wall, um, and she claims that her daughter witnessed it, she was there with them, and, oh. and three other people who were also there witnessed it. So, you know, when you hear all of these different allegations and they have similarities in them, how do you how do you square the fact that it doesn't match up at all with the person that you know? I mean, when I first heard these, Martha, I, I couldn't even wrap my head around this. It was not the bread I knew. I mean, we dated. He was always so sweet and kind. I, I just, I can't, the whole group we ran with was so wonderful. What we about all got Mark along. Judge? What can you tell me about Mark Judge? Oh, Mark Judge was, was kind of funny. He loved the who. Uh, he loved rock and roll. Um, but I, I can't even imagine him. None of these guys. And, and I keep, every time I open a, another newspaper or something, another name comes out, and I feel like, yeah. oh, for heaven's sakes, I, I, there's no way any of this happened. And I, I, I don't know why anyone would even accuse Brett of something like that. He was a great guy in high school, and I even kept up with him kind of through college and post-college until I moved to Chicago. It was always wonderful seeing him. He was always so nice and respectful. And um, I can imagine that he was the same guy in the 90s when I was here in Chicago and he was still back in D.C. Yeah. This is beyond belief. I mean, he, he referred to this latest allegation as ridiculous, and he said he felt like he was in the twilight zone, which kind of sounds like what you're, you're saying as well, that it just yes, seems like yes. com di completely divergent parallel mm -hmm. realities, which I guess everybody's going to try to figure out some way to reconcile when this hearing happens um, tomorrow. But why do you think Mark Judge hasn't come forward to, to stand up for him more since he's the person who's placed in the room? Uh, by, by Christine well, Blasey Ford. You know, he's placed in the room by Dr. Ford, but, you know, Mark Judge, I don't think, had anything to do with this. So I feel like why does he need to step forward to defend himself mm. or Judge Kavanaugh if nothing even happened? He probably feels that if he says anything, mm. they're going to attack him. And I, I, I would be a little bit nervous if I were him also. Mm. It, it, they, it, people make up these stories, mm. and now anyone is fair game. It's, it's getting crazy. It really really is. Melissa, thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for being here tonight. We'll see where this whole thing goes. Good to have your side of the story. Thank you. Thank you, Martha. Have a good evening. You too.